you can see my heart. It's <laughs> Is that gonna make the cut? It's a scientific biological body part. Please let it make the cut. Please, I'm looking at both. Please let them make the cut. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Hirzi and today I'll be reading a series of assumptions about me. And you know what they say about assumption or assume. It meant S, I love you, and me. Hirzi, oh my god, I get so annoyed. The correct way to pronounce my name, Hirzi versus Hirzi. Yeah, but a lot of the people who can't pronounce my name are my Chinese friends. Narelle King, Benjamin King, Sandra Riley Tang, John Chua, basically the same one. <laughs> Whew! Hirzi Zulkifli feels like he is out of the scene ever since he stopped Muna Hirzi official. Excuse this person! <laughs> I did a film with Desmond Tan, posted the BBC Stupid Man smartphone, which won an ATA. I did theatre. Did I do theatre? I did. I did Comedy Central, Stand Up Asia with Benji Project, which also got me an award. I'm award winning, okay? The nerve of this person to not know my track record. Oh, follow me on Instagram lah. Right here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> if you read his IG captions, he is actually quite the poet. Huh? Really? Why ah? Uh? Which one? That one where I'm renting? No, that one's diary. <laughs> That's one thing my friends say about me. I don't know how your you bear your heart so readily. It's hard for people to express themselves. I, I don't have that blockage. I guess it's a gift. You can see my heart. It's anal pink. <laughs> <laughs> Is that gonna make the cut? It's a scientific biological body part. Please let it make the cut. Please, I'm looking at both of them. Please let them make the cut. <laughs> As much as people think I overshare online, I'm probably just sharing 40% of my life. Next. <clears throat> Hirzi Zulkifli treasures friendships more than a romantic relationship. It's not true, you know. That's why it's not true. <laughs> I do treasure my friends. I do, but that doesn't mean I do not want a romantic endeavor. I would appreciate it. And that's it. It doesn't mean I don't date around. I am a whore. Can that part go in? Can I tell people I'm a hoe? I'm very, very open to dating around. Just leave me alone when you see me outside. On a date. He's so loud and extra because he loves the attention on him wherever he goes. He's afraid people can't recognize him. First of all, yes. <laughs> okay, the truth is, I think in a social setting, I don't hate attention. But when I'm alone in public, I actually am a recluse. I don't like attention. I get so surprised when I have my mask on, that people can still recognize me. If you see Sia Shui walk, you will see a short alien in pink and you know that's her. It's so iconically shaped. I think I'm a regular person, so why is it when I'm outside, people can recognize me even with my mask on? I want to know. What about it? Please comment below what your thing makes me uh, recognizable outside. You can make it in Hollywood. You don't think so? I mean, ya Allah. I, I auditioned for Crazy Rich Asian for the role of the gay cousin. Uh, played by Nico Santos uh, and in Singapore, I actually got the call back to come back and audition. So it was very very interesting because she lies is Hollywood director and I was literally a nobody. He said something that was really really cool though. He said this, he said, look I've seen your stuff, I know you've done stuff before and I've seen it. And I was like, huh? John M. Chu seen my stuff? So it was kind of cool that John M. Chu have watched my stuff. It's not porn. I think it's YouTube. Shout out to John M. Chu. I now watch the show and I know what you want. If you want to like, you know, face swap the gay cousin again. Hey, and then you get to checklist everything. You got a Singaporean Malay minority playing it. So people can't complain anymore. Maybe the gay cousin uh, has, you know, a partner now in the movie. Consider it, man. He just so carefully drowns himself in work because he doesn't have a goal to... <laughs> Did my mom send this? <laughs> I used to work like crazy for two months straight and then I would travel for two months and I come back and do the same thing until the year is over. When the pandemic hit and all these avenues were shut, oh my god, I'm actually going to cry. 
I didn't I didn't have those coping mechanisms anymore uh, and it made me deal with demons that I realized now was what I was running away from it made me dig deep and say I have a lot of work to do on myself and the, 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 the things I view about myself especially like nothing gets to me but how I feel about myself. In fact, the goals are all I drown myself in, but it's to distract me. And I'm learning that we need to dismantle the cancer from the root. With all the videos he does, Hughie must have a dozen weeks at home. I, wow, I actually don't know. I always rent from my drag friends. So like, wow, they, they make money for me sometimes. Uh. Yeah, my room is clustered, clustered. Clustered. Clustered is different, eh? It's a variant. Taco. Um, my room is cluttered with too many things. I got crystals, I've got production gear, I have drag stuff. Busy. Busy. Pierce Zokibli seems like a sensitive and emotional person who cries a lot, whether he's happy or sad. You know, saw it already. There's no challenge or there, Hughie Zokibli won't. Oh no, there are things I won't do. Things with height. I won't do, I won't do, but I've done because sometimes I just like to test myself. So I've skydived before and I've done that swing at Sentosa, AJ Hackett, but I would never bungee jump. I would never bungee jump because you are requiring my effort to jump. So if someone grabbed me to jump off for a bungee jump, no. <laughs> I experienced it as I said it in my head and then I decided no. Finish! All the assumptions about me. I hope you're happy. You made me cry. Has anyone else cried on this series? I think it's really interesting to know what the, the world assumes of you. I was expecting a lot more negative things, but don't have lah. Like, why no negative things about me? I think the world hates me. Why am I sharing this? It's too much! We've overshared. And on that note, there was assumptions about me. Uh, other than that, don't forget to hit like, share and subscribe. This has been Assumptions About Me on You Got What.